afternoon, I'm Daniel Wynn. Any minute now, MU administrators are set to introduce Mizzou's new athletic director. Here is a live look. If we can take a uh, sneak peek here, that is the podium at Mizzou. We are waiting for it to start any minute now. Yesterday, MU announced Mac Rhodes would be taking over as the new AD. This all comes after Mike Alden announced his resignation back in January after 17 years in that position. ABC 17 Sports Director Austin Kim is at the MU Student Center right now where the announcement should begin any minute. And uh, Austin, what do we know so far about uh, Mizzou's new leader? Well, Daniel, we're starting to know a little bit more about Mac Rhodes. He obviously comes from Houston. Many of you already knew that. Uh, he has built a reputation as a uh, someone who's overseen a lot of projects, especially in the facility side of things for the University of Houston Athletic Department. And he's also uh, built a reputation as a high-level fundraiser. And uh, But we're starting to see more people come out and publicly support Mac Rhodes. The, the biggest name to come to mind is UTEP Athletic Director and former Mizzou football coach Bob Stoll who reportedly had many great things to say about Mizzou's new leader. Uh, but uh, the average MU fan probably doesn't know a whole lot about Mac Rhodes, and really you can't blame them because, as uh, the, the, the music is starting to get a little bit more loud in here at the MU Student Center, uh, he doesn't really have a whole lot of SEC connections. He hasn't spent much time at an SEC school or a Big 12 school, which was Mizzou's last conference. And on the surface, uh, you really don't know a whole lot about him if you are a Mizzou guy because he spent time at UTEP, Akron, Marquette. Uh, however, he has grown, like I said, that Cougar Athletic Department. And, and let's go a little bit further into that. He has probably doubled that University of Houston uh, budget as well. And uh, he's still able to raise enough money to build a $120 million facility in the uh, football department and he's also built a 25 million dollar basketball facility as well and we're starting to see uh the the atmosphere heat up a little bit as the uh, cheerleaders and truman the tiger are coming right in front of me right now they are coming in from the door as our uh, photographer over here david is going to get a nice shot of that truman the tiger coming in they are bringing out plenty of fanfare uh and and we're also seeing many of high-level officials as well. Dr. Brian Maggard's here, Pat Ivey, um, and Tim Hickman are here as well in support of their new leader, Mac Rhodes. So this all happened fairly quickly. We got word that Mac Rhodes was going to be the new athletic director starting around oh, Sunday night as uh, we see Arbo and Lofton walking right now. And you're also seeing Mac Rhodes and his wife Amy walking along with Rocky and Mike Alden. Of course, Mac Rhodes is replacing Mike Alden, who was the athletic director for 17 years at the University of Missouri. So it looks like we're going to be starting here momentarily. We're going to take you live to the podium right now as this news conference introduced the new athletic director from the University of Missouri. Matt Rhodes is about to start momentarily. We'll take you live to the podium right now. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Can I ask you for another round of applause for Marchie Mizzou and the Golden Girls? Also the cheerleaders, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Mike Kelly, I am the voice of the Missouri Tigers and it is with great honor on behalf of everyone affiliated with the University of Missouri and its athletic department to welcome you here today in this very important day as we welcome here to Columbia, a new director of intercollegiate athletics. It's an important day for the Mizzou family and certainly for the state of Missouri. Here to do the honors, will you please welcome the Chancellor of the University of Missouri, R. Bowen Lofton. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Deep breath. M-I-Z. Now we all feel better. Let's go forward here. Uh, welcome to all of you. Thanks for being here today. I see so many people I know here. I just can't call your names out, but thanks for showing up for a very, very important moment in the history of a great institution. 
Uh, from 1839 to 2015. Think about it. Uh, today we have to celebrate something that's very important. We're happy to have with us today our, many of our coaches, our student athletes, and of course a lot of alumni, and most importantly other students here today besides our student athletes. On January 29th, just a short distance from here, Mike Alden announced his intention to leave the directorship of athletics here at Mizzou and become one of our faculty. Uh, I couldn't talk him out of it. It was one of those things that uh, I knew would come someday, but it always comes sooner than you, than you think. Uh, after 17 years of service to Mizzou, uh, Mike was ready for a change. That was my marching orders, though, to get busy and find someone else to step into the shoes that Mike Alden's leaving as our director of athletics. Big shoes indeed. Uh, those of you in the alumni especially who were here 17 years ago to remember what it was like then, and I ask you to now think about today. Jim Sterling, quite a, quite a change, right? Quite a change, Jim. So that's something we can really celebrate institutionally. An extraordinary rise to prominence on behalf of this university. So the very day that Mike announced his intention to uh, leave his role as director of athletics, uh, I set out a search process to find his replacement. In working with Corn Ferry uh, International Search Firm, uh, I sat down very quickly and said, here are the kinds of things we want to find in a new director. First of all, someone of the highest integrity. Someone who will do the right thing, no matter what the consequences might be. Someone who puts the student athlete first, who holds them in the highest esteem, who knows they're here to be shaped and graduated ultimately better than they came in, prepared for the world out there. Thirdly, someone who would come here and gain the instant respect of our extraordinary staff of coaches. And of course, I also thought money is not a problem. We need to find somebody who can find the dollars as well. Other things are part of that list of criteria, but those are the four I put at the very front. And we set about a search process, it took about five weeks, and we've arrived now at the right answer for the University of Missouri. It is my great pleasure to present to you our new Director of Athletics, Mac Rhodes. Before I sit down, Amy, turn around. This is the other half of the Rhodes family right here. And they have three daughters who stayed behind in Houston. Uh, two in college, one in high school right now, who we'll meet someday soon, we hope. Back, all yours, sir. Wow, what an what a unbelievable turnout. And uh, thank you for everybody that came on, uh, came out here for this today. Uh, I'm going to give this a try. So, uh, like Dr. Lofton, deep breath. All right, you know what's coming, right? All right, M I Z. Z -O -U. Beautiful. Thank you. It. Um, you know, it is a, a pleasure to, uh, to, to be here and to be named uh, the new director of athletics. And uh, any time you're, you're fortunate to, uh, to uh, be so des you know, deserving and, and, um, and really fortunate to uh, gain a position like this, there's so many people that, that uh, you owe thanks to. And uh, there's certainly a lot of people that have helped me along the way. Uh, but first and foremost, I want to thank uh, Chancellor Lofton. Uh, he is such a dynamic leadership, and, and just in uh, his, his year here, I know that he's made tremendous strides. Uh, he's someone that really understands and, and values athletics. President Wolf, 
Uh, I know he could not be here, but uh, I had a, a tremendous conversation with him yesterday morning, and I certainly look forward to getting to know him, him better as well. Uh, our Board of Curators, uh, thank you uh, for the unanimous vote. Uh, I was a little nervous uh, yesterday morning between 7.30 and 9 a.m., but, uh, but thank you, and again, I look forward to getting to know each and every one of you and, and working with you as well. If we have any local legislators and, and uh, city leaders, uh, certainly uh, thank, you. thank you for being here. I'm going to ask these two people to please stand uh, because they're, they're, they're very, very special people I know to this university and, and to this athletics program. So can I please ask uh, both Rocky and, and, and Mike Alden to stand and please give them a, a, just a great round of applause. <laughs> It's also a special day because it's it's Rocky's birthday. So, <laughs> so happy birthday, Rocky! But uh, I mean this. Um, this is everybody watched the show on HD TV, the, the the show Fixer Upper. If you haven't, great show. Okay, this is not a Fixer Upper. Okay. Um, the, the, the job that Mike has done here in his 17 years and his staff, uh, it, it has been tremendous. And the challenge is, is, is how do you take something, you know, where Mike has continued to raise the bar and take that momentum and continue to raise it. And so, Mike, I look forward to that. And uh, gosh darn, I, I, did you have to be that good? Um, so um, it is a pleasure. You know, Doug Gillen can't be here. I, I certainly have a friendship and a relationship with Doug, and uh, I just want to wish Doug all the best uh, in terms of his new endeavors with, uh, with App State. Uh, they're getting a great one. I tell, told Doug this morning when I had a chance to see him that I'm not taking it personal that uh, uh, as I'm coming in, he's, he's leaving. But uh, really uh, special thanks to Doug as well. Uh, all all of the, the uh, University of Missouri staff and certainly uh, the athletics department staff, the coaches, uh, thank you for, for making me feel uh, and Amy feel uh, so, so, so welcome. Uh, I, I'm coming to a great place, uh, but I also um, am leaving a great place. And uh, I am uh, really, really fortunate to have been at, at the University of Houston for five and a half years. and. Uh, the leadership of, of Dr. Couture and, and our student athletes and our coaches and our staff there. I know that, that all of them are watching right now. And I just want to say thank you to them because um, no one person does this alone. And uh, it's a team. It's a family. And uh, I certainly believe in that. And uh, that's why I'm standing here uh, because I, I think I was smart enough at one point in time to understand that you have to have to hire and surround yourself with people people smarter than, than, than yourself. And I've I've been lucky and fortunate to do that. Uh, Dr. Lofton already introduced uh, my wife, Amy, but I'm going to ask her to stand one more time. My partner, um, my rock, um, again, demanding business and certainly wouldn't have been here uh, without her. As you can tell, uh, hopefully, I, uh, I can recruit a little bit um, <laughs> like our... Uh, like our uh, uh, head coaches, but uh, Amy, thank you, sweetheart. You. <laughs> True story, last night at 10.42 p.m., because I'm looking at the computer and I'm trying to gather my thoughts and, um, you know, what am I going to say first time, uh, big shoes to fill, you know, remarks. Amy comes walking up in, in, into, into the office, our home office, and uh, says, uh, Mac, have, have you done the taxes? And yeah, that, that's not where my mind's at, certainly. And uh, I said, <laughs> I just, I said no. And uh, she says, well, you're going to do those, right? Because it wouldn't look very good that uh, you moved to a new school and we're delinquent with our taxes. So, so honey, yes, dear, I, I will do the taxes when we get back to Houston. So um, our three girls, again, Dr. Lofton mentioned them, but uh, I, I look so forward to, to all of you meeting them. Uh, they're wonderful young 
ladies, uh, Nicolette, Natalie, Noel, uh, all born in December. Uh, my mom, all five foot four of her, and really didn't know anything about basketball, termed it March Madness. Um, I think you can figure out the math, um, but uh, it's probably when I got to see Amy again after a long basketball season. So. Um, but uh, you will, you will, you will love them. I promise you. In fact, you're going to end up loving Amy and the girls a lot more than you're going to end up liking me. I promise you that. So, and finally, uh, my mom and dad, who uh, who I know are listening, uh, that live in Tucson, Arizona, uh, our hometown, and and uh, my brothers Bruce and George, who are also listening in, and their family. Uh, all of these people have been such a tremendous support, and uh, and I'm grateful to to each and every one of you. Uh, um, for the for the role that you've played in my life and, and certainly again dr. Lofton thank you for the opportunity why the University of Missouri uh, you know I was thinking about this last night and uh, my career started uh, as an intern at uh, Yale University and uh, and I'm remembering you know my first big responsibility was to market uh, the NCAA uh, fencing championships. Now, I, I knew nothing about fencing um, and still don't know anything about fencing, uh, but then creating the the marketing club for, for our kids club. And I remember there was a moment in time where I said, you know, I, I want to be at a place someday that, that is the best, that is a national leader in our industry. And the University of Missouri and this athletics program is just that. It's, it has, again, a tremendous leader in, uh, in Chancellor Lofton. And for me, that's important, to, to work for somebody that, that I can have a, a daily relationship, a conversation uh, about the vision and the different things that we need to do in terms of our student athletes. Unbelievable fan base. Um, again, I, I look forward to uh, to certainly meeting everybody here, but also uh, getting out into the great state of Missouri and, and, and meeting our fans. Uh, they're such an important part and fabric of this program, and we're going to continue to grow it and expand it and expand our national brand. Uh, extremely important. We're going to we're going to take that brand beyond uh, the, the borders of of, of Missouri. Uh, um, what I think is the best conference in the, in the country, membership in, in the Southeast Conference, uh, you couldn't ask for, for anything more. And uh, it certainly, uh, when, you're, when you're in a conference that is so competitive, uh, it's going to push us, and it's pushed Mike and his staff, okay? How do we get better? And that's our daily challenge. Uh, we're going to have the insatiable appetite to get better every day. Because if we're not getting better every day, then we're losing. And, and we're going we're gonna to work hard, uh, the staff, the coaches. Um, how do we continue to raise that bar? You know, you get over the high jump bar, and what do you do? You raise it again. And then you get over that and then you raise it again. And that's our challenge, and that's certainly what we're going to do. And I think uh, being a member of the Southeast, uh, Southeastern Conference uh, certainly is going to help us do that. And I had a chance to have a conversation this morning with Commissioner Slive, and uh, just special thanks to, to him for his warm welcome and all the things that he's done for, for, the, for the conference. The, certainly the great tradition that we have here, again, want to continue uh, that and, and, and certainly build upon that tradition and, and, and create new tradition. And then finally, why the University of Missouri? Uh, because of its, its past history in terms of passion for student-athlete development. Um, Student-athletes are the core of what we do. And uh, that's something that's very near and dear to my heart and uh, something that, that Mike and his staff have done such a terrific job. It's our job as, as leaders to develop young people, to, to make sure that our student athletes, our young men, our young women, leave this great institution, okay, with one, uh, a bachelor's degree 
and, and agree from a, a world-class institution. It's our job to make sure that they excel competitively. The, the lessons that you learn in, in terms of winning and how you build team and how you push yourself to, to a limit that you, you never thought that you could go. The social responsibility um, and, and making sure that they're prepared for life when, when they leave here. And then finally, and I mentioned it before, the academic achievement and academic success. Uh, that's one thing that I promise that, that we will continue and we will do is make sure that we develop our young people here at the University of Missouri. Uh, in closing, I would uh, just again like to thank uh, everybody here, I certainly look forward to working with Dr. Lofton, our uh, tremendous student athletes, our coaches, our staff, and I am honored and privileged to be your athletics director and wear the black and gold. Thank you. from a grateful university displacing you once again. <laughs> you too. Thank you, Dr. Lott. Appreciate it. And here's something for your new house. All right. Rhodes. Here's how we're going to proceed. We have uh, three microphones around the room. We'll take questions from the media for a period of time. Because of time, uh, when we break from here, we'll go back to the Tiger's Den. We'll have two separate gaggles. We'll have one for electronic media, followed by one for print media. Because of the interest of time, we don't have the opportunity for one-on-one -on -one interviews uh, today. So with that being said, if you have a question, I ask you to please raise your hand. I'll call upon you. I want you to wait for the microphone, stand, and then identify yourself. Chris Gervino, if you'll stand and please begin things with your affiliation. Okay, Mike. Uh, thank you, Mike. Chris Gervino from KOMU-TV and the Tiger Radio Network. Uh, Matt, congratulations. Thank good luck with Chris. good luck with your taxes. I don't know that any of us <laughs> want to worry about that story here in the coming few weeks. Amy, keep them in line, please. Uh, but back in all seriousness, how important to you is winning, and winning at a high level in the rugged Southeastern Conference? Chris, first, thank you for the question, and I, and I look forward to working with you. But it's extremely important. That's, that's why, you know, that's, that's part of the reason uh, why we do this. Uh, I'm not hearing anything. We want to build championship programs, not just winning teams, but uh, championship programs that are consistently good each and every year. Now, in order to do that, and I talked about this, this earlier today, um, it's hard to win. It really is, and uh, and everybody has to be on the same page, pulling in the same direction. Not just the coaches, coaches, student athletes, athletic director, uh, senior support staff, sports medicine, strength and conditioning, uh, the total person program. We all collectively have to come together and, and and make sure that we're doing everything we can for our student athletes, for our coaches, to give them give them the ability to to win. And uh, as we all know, this is the most competitive competitive league, I believe, in the country, and uh, we're going to continue to work hard. Mike, his team, they've done a great job in terms of being competitive, and, uh, and we're going to want to be even more competitive. Next question, please. David Morrison from the Columbia Tribune, if you'll please stand. Wait for the microphone. There we go. Yeah. 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 Mac, this is David Morrison, Columbia Tribune. Um, I, I guess and right now, Mac, uh, Mac Rhodes is taking questions from the media right now here at the MU Student Center as we are uh, nearing the end of this introductory news conference for Missouri's new athletic director. Now, when uh, Chancellor Arbo and Lofton was at the podium, he said that money was not an issue. They wanted to make sure that they found the proper fit for the University of Missouri in that athletic department role. Uh, Mac Rhodes, when he came up, the first words out of his mouth was, was, wow, what an unbelievable turnout. He was very impressed with uh, the turnout here at the MU Student Center. I'd imagine about a 
uh, 100 people or so, more than 100 people, are at this event right now. Plenty of administrators. Some Mizzou coaches are uh, here as well in support of their new athletic director. And uh, Mac Rhodes also spent time uh, doing the MIZ chant. It was his first MIZ chant uh, as the new athletic director at the University of Missouri. And he also spent time recognizing his family, the leadership of Bowen Lofton, the leadership of uh, UM System President Tim Wolf, among many other people as well. Uh, again, he's taking questions from the media right now. We will pass along all of those thoughts that he has for us uh, in his new introduction, uh, in his uh, introductory news conference here at the University of Missouri. So again, Mac Rhodes, the new athletic director for Mizzou, and uh, we will have plenty more coverage coming up on ABC 17 News at 5. But for now, reporting live on the campus of the University of Missouri, Austin Kim, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you very much, Austin. That was uh, the press conference welcoming uh, Mike Rhodes, Mac Rhodes, uh, to Mizzou. We will, of course, have, like Austin said, the latest coming up on ABC 17 News at 5. I'm Daniel Wynn. This has been an ABC 17 News special report. Now back to regularly scheduled programming.